Saludos amigos, Casher, president and CEO of real estate and lost .com. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing great. Today I'm coming to you from Santo Domingo uh, in the Dominican Republic. We made a quick trip down here from Lost Trains. We had to get some supplies. You can see we're full in the back. We did one of those uh, visits to Price Mart. Okay, uh, we have Elle's birthday coming up. We're gonna be doing a beachfront in Playa Bonita. Okay, so all of our friends and we got a DJ coming and my wife themed this whole little event. It's called Coachella. It's going to be L6 birthday party. So here's a good example of living in Los Trans, how close you are to amenities. We're right here in San Domingo and I'm going to be showing you something here in a few minutes that's really, really cool and uh, going to explain something to you. But right now we're in San Domingo and uh, it was a quick trip. We came down here, basically went to Costco. It's called Price Mart. Look for that video. It's in, on the channel. You can see exactly what it feels like. It looks and feels exactly like Costco. So we picked up all the items that we need. What did we get? We got a... Uh, uh, snacks. What other stuff do we get? Snacks. Alcohol there is pretty cheap. Kids yeah, like tons beer, of alcohol. Yeah. Wine. Um, a snacks, little juice boxes for the kids. Uh, yeah. And uh, other things for the house. Cleaning products. We always get our cleaning products there. Uh, paper products, things like that. So we always stock up when we come. It's like fraction of the price, basically, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. So yeah, we went there. I picked up a little generator for the DJ that's going to be on the beach, which is going to be cool. We'll have some photos and stuff for you on that. Really, really cool. Another great reason to live in a place like Los Angeles because you're able to do a beachfront birthday party for our little six-year-old L. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop out of the car. I just decided impromptu to do a video for you while well, these guys patiently wait for me. But this is, uh, where am I? I'm in Piantini right now. And uh, you can see behind me all the development going on. It's just like, there's a beautiful building going up right there. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get some information on it, but it's got like uh, two story, two story uh, terraces. You can see how cool that looks in the distance, that white building. Uh, so there's, that's just one of thousands of options that are here. And that's why I talk so much about the city, but you can see how the development goes. And this just kind of blew me away. Okay, uh, let me back up a little bit so you can so I can scale out for you. It's a Sunday, so it's quiet. Uh, very, very quiet here. Sundays are awesome if you're gonna visit and you're new to the area and you're visiting uh, from Las Vegas so you're doing the drive down like I tell you to. Stay at the Hilton, send me a message. I'll hook you up with my guy at the Hilton. It's right across, uh, it's called Homewood Suites, okay, by Hilton. It's right across from Blue Mall. So where am I at from right here? I can walk there in about five minutes. Uh, but I'm on a little side street. I was just looping around to look at a project that I saw. But look right there, guys. Okay, look at that high rise going all the way up there. You can see this little building here. This is for sale. I'm going to make a phone call there to get an idea on pricing. Uh, you can see another structure there, all the high rises. That's all brand new buildings you're seeing here, okay? Uh, the World Trade Center is going up right over here. I don't know if we can see it. See it from here. Let me see. Now you can't see it on the other side here, just a few steps away from me. Uh, Bloom all the World Trade Center here in Santa Domingo is going up. So look at how cool this is. I was just driving by and I said, I got to do a video because they somehow left the gate open, which is, uh, which is nuts, but cool for us. All right, let's have a look. So this is how things go. Here's a structure, okay, that exists. This is what it's like now. And this is what's happening. This is how it goes. Look at this. Wow. I am about... 100 or 200 feet up in the air above they have dug all the way down just like last train a solid caliche look at those foundations you can see that concrete poured let me zoom in for you look at that look at that concrete poured right there and it's poured right on top of the caliche this was god knows how many years ago that was done okay it was done a long long time ago uh, but look around, isn't that nuts? Kind of backing up, kind of takes your breath away. You can see exactly how this is done. So this caliche, this is millions of years of caliche. And it goes all the way down and they pull that sucker up. They tear the old building apart and they start digging. And they start going. And this is where the foundation is going to be. All this is going to be for probably be underground parking right here. And you're going to end up with a massive, <laughs> a massive high rise going up. So this is San Domingo, a city being reinvented right before your eyes. I'm bringing it to you on YouTube and you guys can see exactly what it's all about. You can see the drainage going in, you can see the staircase right there. See the staircase? So that's how they go down, they walk in and they go all the way down, all the way, all the way, all the way down. And they got their trucks down there, they craned them down there, probably one layer at a time. You can see drainage going in, what an amazing sight to see. And then right beside it, you can see the high rise. Okay, there's the high rise, the other one that's already up 
all the way up, towering above the city. And then all around us, you see this high rise after high rise, a city being invented right before your eyes, guys. That's what this is. Um, it's not very often. And that's a major road. Okay. Right there, and that's where Blue Mall is. Oh, actually, I couldn't even tell before. There's a public swimming pool right over there. You see people swimming, there's kids swimming in there. That's cool. This city is just amazing. It really is. We went out for an, a, a beautiful, beautiful dinner yesterday at this place called Lila. Okay, we went there. It was phenomenal, world class, guys. I'm not saying world class, it blows away most places in the world, food wise and quality wise and everything else. So, just wanted to share this with you because whenever I see something that kind of blows me away and it's really cool. Uh, I'm sure you guys see it in New York City all the time in Toronto and big cities like that, but I don't see it all the time uh, and many of you don't. So this is how it happens, guys. You, they purchase the land. This, this, is, this is what it was uh, probably a few short months ago and this is what it's going to become and that's what it's going to become, okay? All right, guys, that's it. Short video. Uh, remember, uh, if you're thinking about Dominican Republic and you are getting ready, you, you've, you're fed up. If you're fed up with the nonsense and the bullshit of North America. And guys, when I'm saying that, I'm not saying it in a disrespectful way for those that love North America. That's cool. And I, I did at one point too, and I see why you did. Uh, but I also see why the thousands upon thousands of you are fed up and done with it and ready to leave. Uh, I don't watch the news. I don't have social media. I don't have Facebook. So I don't get, I keep in tune with all the nonsense that goes on in the world fortunate for me this is not something forced upon myself to not have it i just never have and uh one year at a time i was able to stay away from it here we are 20 years later no facebook none of that stuff just youtube for you guys um so in a hotel room i stayed here uh, just like i'm telling you at homewood suites by hilton right across from blue mall stayed there what i do uh i shouldn't do it anymore because it, uh, it's depressing i put cnn on and I watched for five, 10 minutes, and what did I see yesterday was the massacre, the, the shooting in Texas, okay? Eight people dead, something along those lines. I feel so bad for the families. I feel so bad for everybody that is stuck in that city, but it's a constant. I'm gonna be doing a video here in a couple of days to talk about a, a, a deep discussion I had with one of my clients uh, from Florida, and it was mind blowing, and I gotta to talk to you guys about it, and I'll be doing it in that video, so stay tuned for that. But the violence, the gun violence, the mental health of the country. Guys, when you ask me if I'm worried if North America crashes, is this gonna crash? Absolutely not. I think if anything, this is gonna take off at exponential levels because people are fed up and they're ready to leave and it's just a matter of time. I don't believe North America is leading the charge. I don't think the US or Canada is leading the charge on what is good in the world, okay? I, I think it's just not panning out for them right now. So don't feel that if things go bad there, that the economies are gonna crash here. Uh, this economy is booming. The mental health of people is great. Yes, there's poverty, just like in North America, but mental health is great, okay? So that is key, and we are a flourishing country. You're going, you, people that are here see that, and people that are watching my videos are starting to realize that. All right, but that, that'll be another video. But I just wanna share that with you. Really cool, really cool, uh, cool vibe, cool thing happening, and uh, just another one of our trips to Santa Domingo. All right, guys, yeah, right next door, look at this. I'm gonna show you this. Right next door, you got that, uh, a really cool, trendy Leah boutique, beauty and boutique. Got a bunch of little shops, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of like trendy, trendy, cool, cool things happening in this town. It's a really, really cool town. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, remember, like, subscribe, share. Thank you.